All right, guys, Ryan from Lee Base here. Um, want to make a quick video before I sign off for the weekend and hang out with my wife and new baby. Uh, but yeah, just something to report on. Been having some really good results with TikTok ads, especially in the life insurance niche. Um, so up here in Canada, we run ads for term life insurance, which I know in the States, everyone seems to call it mortgage protection, which we do have mortgage protection up here, but it's a bit different. Anyways, essentially this is mortgage, mortgage protection ads that I'm running. Um, and I was able to get 61 leads for a dollar and 29 cents. And these leads aren't just lead form leads. These leads are going to a, uh, I think it's an 11 question quiz with text verification. Um, so pretty crazy stuff, uh, being able to get, <laughs> yeah, like I literally spent, spent $78, I got 61 leads. Um, I want to make this video because I've been talking to a few lead based users about TikTok ads. Um, and right now most of our users are making ads on Facebook because it is a little bit easier to get started. You can work with images obviously. Um, but man, TikTok's a gold rush right now. And I highly recommend that, uh, you guys get on TikTok and start making ads. So the question that I get is where do I start? Um, I wanted to dive into this targeting a little bit. Um, that's just one of my campaigns in total. I think I've done, how many ads do we have? The overall cost is $10 per lead and that's with text verification. I've done how many conversions. Oh, it doesn't add them up. I think there's like 700 of them or something in this account, 700 conversions for about seven grand. Um, and then I, I sell those leads up here in Canada, but man, that's a lot of leads. And the $10 is like a lot of testing involved in there. So the real average cost is closer to like five to $7. Um, and that those $1 leads were a campaign that I made, um, recently. So if you keep innovating, um, yeah, you can keep improving. So, uh, I'll show you that one campaign here. What did I target? Um, targeting the province of Ontario up here in Canada, not a very big audience. And again, this is in Ontario, like Ontario is like maybe 7 million people. That's like a small U S state. So if you're down in Texas or Florida, I mean, you're gonna have a way bigger pool to work with. I just did 24 and older. Um, I did parents for this one cause I'm using doing mortgage insurance. If you're doing final expense, you would just do 55 plus you could target. Um, you could still target parents actually, because that just tells you that they have you know, someone they want to leave a legacy to, uh, it would also tell you that maybe they have uh, grandchildren as well. So I would try something like this, um, again, in, in the States, you'll probably have an audience of a, of a million or something like that. You could also, this is a new option. You could do high spending power. So you can target people, um, that maybe have a little bit more disposable income, probably a good idea if you're doing final expense, because you don't, um, you don't want to get people thinking that final expense is free, which seems to be the case with a lot of uh, if you're running too clickbaity of an ad on Facebook, if you run a really short form ad, people just think it's some sort of government benefit thing, which is why on Facebook, we run very long copy ads for final expense insurance, um, that close at 15%. Um, which again, just a side note on Facebook, if you're spending five to 10 bucks a lead and you're closing 15%, you're making a lot of money. Um, which people do with lead base. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, yeah. So, I mean. This is the campaign in terms of the creative. I can't show you my video because I don't want to give uh, too much info away, but essentially all I'm doing is reading on a Facebook ad. I did these personally. I went into my yard and I basically said like, Hey, um, Ontario parents, just, you know, there's new parent protection plans or in this video, I said, there's these brand new life insurance policies available. Um, you don't want to delay because they're set to increase in 2024. Um, you could also say something like they're set to increase in June, 2023 of this year. Um, and again, this is, pretty true for life insurance because every year you age, um, you know, coverage is going to go up. You might not qualify the next year. So it's important to lock your, in your coverage. Now I just say, um, yeah, these rates could be as low as a dollar per day or $2 per day or whatever it might uh, be in your state. And really you just want to be lively. I have experience making videos. Maybe you don't. Um, but really I just go into my yard. I've made videos for every niche we're in and I'm just like freaking a normal average guy. I go into the woods behind my house and look like a weirdo holding my camera and I just make a video. Um, and again, and then I cut it together really fast paced. So it's kind of TikTok worthy. Um, let me quickly jump into Fiverr and I'll show you the spokesperson or people's spokespeople's that I like to use, um, when I'm making ads. So a couple people that I really like, actually, here's all three of them. Um, so what I do is I go on Fiverr. This guy's really good for TikTok. I'm going to have to blur this all out. Sweet. This guy, Dave G, blue hair, Dave, blue hair, Dave. 
he's awesome. He um, yeah, did a lot of five-star reviews. He's really good at making TikTok style videos. Highly recommend them. It's like 150 bucks for videos. Okay, so Dave's awesome. I uh, recommend him. Uh, hit me up if you want more recommendations. I have like five people out of 40 that I've tried that are actually legit uh, and can make you a really great TikTok ad. So uh, I got to go now because I'm going to a Cinco de Mayo party. So that's uh, it for today. I just want to pop in with some quick info and I will see you on Monday. Ryan with Food Base. I'm out.